Hey guys, Blake with Texas Bee Supply here. I wanna show you guys today some visual signs of varroa mites that you may, hopefully you don't, but you may sometimes see in your hives. Now I wanna give the very important caveat that visual um, signs of varroa mites is not something you should rely on to diagnose whether your hive has a mite problem or the severity of that problem. Um, every hive has varroa mites. Um, it's just a matter of what's, how high is the varroa mite population is there and is it damaging the hive. The only way to accurately answer the level question is by doing a mite test, which we show you guys how to do in another video. But if you're going through your hive and you see some of these signs I'm about to show you, it's certainly an indicator that you need to do a test. Now you should be testing, especially in the summer after you harvest your honey, regardless of whether or not you see signs. But I do wanna point out some of these things that are concerning when we see them in a hive and usually make me wanna test right away. So let's take a look here. I've already pulled out a frame. And this frame, I saw something that was a little concerning to me. Um, I saw a bee um, that has her wings, her wings are, we call that deformed wings or K wings. It's when her wings are kind of crumpled up on her back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's always a concern when I see that. One of the main things that causes that is varroa mice mm -hmm. feeding on the bee as she's developing in her cell. And when she emerges, her wings are crumpled. Now there's um, potentially other things that cause that, um, but you can actually, uh, there's, you probably can't see it in a video today, because there's actually a little varroa mite on her back as well. So if I see bees with crumpled up wings like that, I'm a little concerned. Um, again, it's not a foolproof way to tell that I have a major problem, but it certainly, you know, it'll certainly make me go ahead and do a test, uh, no matter what time of year I see that. The other thing to watch for that I noticed in this hive, and especially if you see a couple of these signs all in the same hive, uh, I saw some, we call it bald brood. Oh, here's another bee right here with those deformed wings. So especially if I'm seeing quite a few bees, then I'm, uh, you know, if I'm seeing dozens especially, or even if I'm seeing three or four, then I'm increasingly concerned about rural mites. So on this frame, I actually saw what we call balding brood or uncapped pupa. So down here in these cells, the pupa should be capped, but you've actually got some pupa that the bees are uncapping. So you've got a little bit right here. You've got some right up here. And oftentimes the bees do that. They're, they're performing hygienic behavior where they are uh, uncapping pupa that they can tell have varroa mites in the cells and they're gonna pull those out and kill them. Now, if you see a couple here and there, again, it may not be a big deal, but especially if you're seeing a lot of them, you know, dozens and dozens or a hundred, then it's a little more concerning. So uh, now you, it needs to be pupa because, you know, these cells get capped in the larval stage. So if it's a larva, it's not a big deal. But if you're seeing on a fully capped frame of brood, if you're seeing where they're starting to uncap those pupa, uh, that's concerning. Now they'll they'll be white pupa, so it's not an emerging bee. These are the white pupa that they've uncapped, and that's a bit concerning. So um, the other thing you can always do, and we're gonna check this hive out and see if um, and see if we can see it or not. But when you break your two boxes apart, the bees often like to raise drone brood um, in between the two boxes, and varroa mites like drones they prefer drones to worker bees and so if you pry your two boxes apart and you see the drone brood between the frames as we see right here there's only a few but you can actually look at those drone brood and see if you see any varroa mites on that drone brood so here's a drone. I don't, he's already, unfortunately they, they can't survive once you've, un, once you've broken the boxes apart, but I don't see any rural mites yet. It's a great quick visual way to tell if you've got any rural mites. Again, oh, look at that. There's two rural mites on this drone larva. So you can see those little mites running around. So again, this hive certainly needs to be treated. 
because it, I'm seeing varroa mites on the drone cells. I'm seeing varroa mites, uh, potential varroa mite damage on the brood, and I'm seeing those deformed wings on the bees. So I'm going to do a mite test on this hive, and then we'll see if it needs treatment. So feel free to check out our other videos on how to do a mite test and uh, how to treat for mites uh, on our other website videos. Thanks.